Well, good morning, everybody. It's May 1st, 2018. It's about 8.45 in the morning. It's toasty, like 23 degrees outside. I'm up at the uh, Christmas Meadows Trailhead. Gonna take the trail up as far as I can today. See how much snow there is, see what's up there. I've been to the wilderness area before I think is about two and a half miles. I've never been past it. And it forks up here. There's the Amethyst Trail that goes up to Amethyst Lake. Up the middle fork, you keep going straight. Halfway up or so, there'll be uh, Kermsa Lake, which is another trail that forks off to the west. And then to go straight ahead is Ryder and McFeeters. Have my dog with me. Cash is his name. We're ready to go. Let's see how far we can get today. So I live like, I don't know, 15, 20 miles from here. And we got four, I don't know, four or five inches of snow yesterday. These guys got a little. I can see. I brought my family up here on Saturday. And we have some foster kids right now. And the oldest one's four. And we hiked about a mile, I don't know, mile and a half up the trail, down along the river bottom, and then back out. Not a lot of snow. We had to cross a few patches, but all the footprints and everything, they've all been covered up. I don't know, it only looks like about a half inch. I don't even think they got a half inch up here. So the storm must have just cruised right by. But once again, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Once the sun starts warming stuff up. Now let's see how far we can get. So this is the first wildlife we've seen up here. Here's a porcupine. I'm glad I saw him before my dog did. Last time my dog got into it with a porcupine, he lost. We had to go to the vet and get quills pulled out of him. So. So last Saturday, while we were up here, I passed a couple of guys, father and son, I would guess, hiking up here, but pretty fresh. Yesterday, it'd be my guess, they got a little snow on them. Moose are coming up here too. There's sign of them all over the place. If I 
see one, we'll make sure he gets in the video. I'm kind of amazed. I'm a couple miles in anyway, pretty close to the wilderness sign. And there's just hardly any snow up here at all. I've been following a set of moose tracks that's now on top of the snow instead of having a little bit of yesterday's snow on it. So there's definitely one around, but I haven't seen any hide or hair of it yet. following those guys from Saturday. So it's about 9.50, so I've been hiking for about an hour. I need about five minutes to get my gear on. And I finally made it to the wilderness area, which I'll have to look on the map again. I really think it's two and a half miles in, so I'm doing about two and a half miles an hour, which is okay. So this is a place I used to bring my family when my kids were little. They're all college age now. They used to ban fires towards the end of the year. It would get so dry, but they don't ban them in the wilderness area. So we could hike two and a half miles in, come up here, sit by the river, have a little fire, cook lunch, relax, and then hike back out. So I've been up here quite a bit, but I've never been past. So now it's decision time. Do I go up Amethyst? I've only ever seen Amethyst from the saddle above Helen Lake and Lightning Lake up the Rock Creek drainage. The reason I don't go up Amethyst for the biggest part is there's so many people go up there. I watch videos of it and the place is beautiful, but as they're panning the meadows, there's just tent after tent after tent and people out walking in the meadows and around the lake. It's just not what I'm into. I experienced that a little bit last year with Naturalist Basin. I went up there like on a Tuesday, Wednesday or Wednesday, Thursday, I don't remember. And there was like 20 people up there. Today would be a good day to go up Amethyst because I'm pretty sure there won't be anybody up there. But I could go up Metal Fork towards Ryder and McFeeders. Or even take the side trail up to Kermsa. But I would expect there to be a whole lot of snow up there. Any further I go. As you can see here, the snow is starting to really pile up. But I brought my snowshoes, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm going anyway. 
We'll see when we get to the trailhead what I pick. I made it to the trail junction. Right over here where all these logs are laying down is where we used to come hang out. We play in the river is just right over there. You can hear it. But I guess I made my decision. I talked myself into it. I'm actually going to go up the Amethyst Trail. Seems to be a little less snow this way where the afternoon sun beats on this hillside rather than down in this dark valley. I know there's not going to be a million people up there and well, it's somewhere I've never been. So Hopefully I make it to the lake. I am just day hiking today. And I know it's a lot of miles there, so that means there's a lot of miles to go back. But I've got a lot of daytime, it's not even 10 yet. Oh, well, no complaints so far. This trail's beautiful. There's a lot of water coming down there. Certainly not doing two and a half miles anymore. This trail got steep. It's starting to cloud up a little too. We're supposed to have like a 20% chance of rain this afternoon. Yeah, we'll see what happens. First thing I can do is get wet. 